God the Father, God the Word are for us. We are working and flowing and, and living and breathing with Him. He'll supply our needs. We have to trust in Him. The battle is His, and all of those flows into praising Him in the midst of all things. Throughout the last few months of prayer and praise on Friday nights, I, was, I had the opportunity. I really do enjoy picking out music. It's Pastor Don and I, when we get ready to sit down and pick out music, whether or not it's in the back pulling CDs or we get to do it in advance of what God's put on our heart. If, if you've ever walked by my office when we were in there picking out music, the music is loud. It drowns everything else out. I don't hear the phone ring. I don't hear the computer ding. I don't hear the noise up and down the hallway. It's loud. It's that way even more. It's at one of our houses. Because then I feel like I can get away with it being a tad bit louder. Instead of my, my office. But in being able to pick it out, we start to talk to God the Father and start to read the word. And we start to pray and start to allow... The Holy Spirit has kind of just set in our heart the theme of where we're going. Music is not a haas pause that we just throw a bunch of songs in there. It's prayerfully considered to tell, for us to tell a story, to give you a pathway, a direction. Over the last few months of prayer and praise, each one has had a different theme direction. When we first started prayer and praise on Friday night, everything was heavy warfare. I mean, the, the music was intense. The battle was massive. We were, we, it, was, it was down and dirty in the trenches of prayer time. And, and I mean, we were roaring like lions. And I can still hear Micah's voice in the back of my head. Anytime that song hears, it plays, I can hear Micah, that big giant roar, because that's what we're being called to do in this battle, to step up to who God's called us to be. And to find our place, part of the, the battle, the, the, the way the music fed was for us, to, if, you, if you think back way back into January and February when we first started truly prayer and praise, I think actually March 18th was the first official one, if you want to call it that. One of the first songs was Wake Up by We the Kingdom. We got to wake up. We got to get our head out of the sand. We got to see as a church body what we're supposed to do, how we're supposed to be involved, what we're even not just as a church body, but us as individuals, as believers, we've, we've got to get engaged. As it progressed, that waking up turned into a war, the battleground. Don't tread on me by we the kingdom. Marching on, revival anthem, songs that were a declaration and a, what's the word I'm looking for? A, I don't want to say push because that's not my intentions. This almost felt like when you go into war, when you read the Bible about the old Israelites, not old Israelites, but when the Israelites of the olden days would go into battle, the trumpets and the music would be playing before that, and the marchers and everybody would right behind. And you even look at now today, you get, uh, I'll pick on Scottish tradition, the drummers go out first. The musician and the flag bearer goes out. And then everybody follows suit. March around Jericho. Trumpets played. And then silence. As you progress through prayer and praise, you get this build, this journey, if you will, from waking up to finding our place to a war. As Pastor Donna said, um, Friday night we've prayed, we've had some very intense times of prayer. Whether it's about abortion, whether about trafficking, whether it's about abuse, whether it's about the state of our nation, God preserving our nation, preserving our church, being able to, um, I don't know, meet together still. We've had these times of intense prayer warriors. And then all of a sudden, it, it shifted. And it was God saying, listen, I'm, I'm giving you a moment. We've got this victory here. You've got this war here is done. 
For just a second, I want you to take a moment and rest. Catch your breath. And then it transitioned into praise. This amazing worship. Now, we still did warfare. We were still praying. We were still intense. But the overall theme was this worship, praising God for things that he's done, things that he's going to do, where he's taking us. 